A pleasure to meet y'all at last. Here we have ourselves another unbelievable episode of Hot Wheels Hilarity. This is just some standard track, but it does have itself another twist, along with another test. This track consists of a large wooden board around 8 feet in length. We are going to find out how high up the ramp the cars can climb up to. This is the summit right here. And here are all 59 contestants that will be in this episode. Many of which are some familiar models you might have heard of such as Anthracite and Hollowback as well as Slingshot. But of course there's plenty of others. Here's Iridium Twin Mill. This one's a very popular model that's been around for nearly 50 years. And everybody else will also get to be a part of this special episode of Hot Wheels Hilarity. Now here we also have the booster and loop. This particular booster runs on D batteries making it very very long lasting on a single use. The loop here is also attached to it and I will be holding it down since there are no supports on the bottom. When you turn the power on Flywheels rev up. Oops. Anyways, it does not feature an adjustable slider like certain other boosters from the 90s. This test will determine which car is the best that will climb up the hill. These tracks over here set to the side include two small bits of track two medium bits of track and two large bits of track. Each one will determine the current rank that every car will hold in based on the competition. The car who can make it up to the summit will automatically be declared the winner of the competition. Let's start off with Time a Taxi. Here comes Quick and Sick. Cove Light. Scorpedo. Night Shifter. Arachnorod. Two timer Super Volt He went off the track Chrysler three hundred C part of the Tune series. Ford Focus RS Voltage Spike One thing about Voltage Spike is that it has two adjustable fence bumpers on the rear and the front making it usable for loops as well as straight track You can adjust them like this and you can use them for loops. Not bad. 
rig storm. All right. 65 Corvette Racer. Okay. 2012 Ford Fiesta. Anthracite. Twenty seventeen Nissan GTR. La Fasta. What for two? Excellent work. Let's try Supervolt one last time since he failed twice. Wow, he does decent this time. Honda Racer. Wow. How about Diesel Boy? What a fantastic climb. The Great Gatspeed. A 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Here comes Twin Mill. Next up is Rolling Thunder. Mock Speeder. Hollowback. Mountain Mauler. Unbelievable. Amazon. CCM Country Club Muscle. Rogue Hog. Monoposto. Oh no, it got slowed down. Something that slows down Monoposto greatly is not just the front side, which is essentially a bumper that sticks out a little too far, but there's also these little side bits on the side that are shiny so you can easily tell. They do kind of drag occasionally and they can get caught in the, on the booster's flywheels. This can cause them to slow down gradually. 16 Angels. Fiat 500. Oh no. Blitz Speeder. Blade Raider. Epic Fail.
Super Blitzen. Bifocal 2. Turbot. Here comes the 1964 Chevrolet Nova wagon. Oh, sliding to a halt. Next up is Iridium. Here we have an orange Volkswagen Golf Mark II. Let's give the 64 Impala one last shot. The Ford Transit Connect. Super Nat. Sky Dome. GT Hunter Crazy Eights Let's see if the Fiat 500 can do better this time Here comes the Tesla Model S. F Racer. I had a feeling F Racer wasn't going to even make it through the loop. If you could see the sides. Because this car is just so slim that the booster can't even grab it. Slingshot. Twenty fifteen Dodge Challenger. Here we have a white custom 62 Chevrolet pickup. Salt shaker. Twenty-four-seven ratified. Let's give the 15 Challenger one more shot. A 70 Roadrunner.